This is my Mercedes which I picked up for 2000 pound. This is 2007 C200 in blue. This is a standard 1.8 liter petrol with no modification. Let's do a quick walk around and show you guys this car. Starting with the visual check, you can see the bodywork is very clean for its age. There's a tiny bit of rust at the rear passenger side. Overall, this car is in very good shape with no major dents or major scratches. Moving on to the front, you can actually see there's a Mercedes badge sitting right on the hood, which I quite like, gives a bit of road presence. Moving on onto the interior, the car comes with leather seats, front heated seats, comes with electric windows and also electric folding mirrors. Now looking under the hood, it's a 1.8 litre petrol as I've already mentioned, which is obviously U-less compliance, there's no major oil leak. It's pushing out a 184 brake horsepower, very clean, very smooth engine and very smooth gearbox. Last but not least, it comes with a very decent boot space and also it comes with a spare wheel which can be very handy on a long road trip. This car is sitting just over 111,000 miles. It starts bang on every time I start the car. My favorite thing in the car is the aircon that actually works which is a great thing for summer. So what do you think of the car? Guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to another new vlog. So I hope you have enjoyed a little one minute clip on this Mercedes C-Class that I picked it up just about two months now. It's a sweet car. Behind the camera, I got my mate, Ben. Ben. Hey guys, I just traveled from Gatwick. So I literally just got here this morning, um, traveled into Edinburgh and now I'm here with my mate Monty. So for two grand, this car, 2007, in this condition and the paintwork, the quality of the interior, it's been looked after. For two grand you can't go wrong and it's a no-brainer. Guys check this out. You're checking the MOT for this car, eh? So nothing major I guess, they're all minor things that can be sorted. 111,000 miles, I suppose nothing for this sort of car. I mean for the MOT what I recently got done is I've done the brakes myself, also changed the front control arm with the drop link, tires with from Goodyear tires. It's a nice phone Ben. Oh what thanks man. What have you got? <laughs> yeah, I just got the Sony Xperia 1V, uh, I've got the little case for it, I had to put a screen cover on it. Yeah. If you buy it outright, about 1.2k, but mm -hmm. I've got a contract. Oh, lovely, mate. The sound quality is amazing. Oh. Stereo speakers. Oh, wow. We headed towards the Highland. After a while, we decided to swap places so Ben could experience the driving capability of this Mercedes C Class. So, I'm gonna have to put your seat up, mate. Glass is going on. <laughs> Like, I kept flicking the speed limiter as the indicator because it is. Yeah. It's, uh, it's right where the indicator would be. So, actually, the indicators on these Mercedes is just a little bit further down on the left. I should know that. I mean, I, I've had them. So I had the uh, S Class from 2001, 3.2 diesel. Just remember now, uh, yeah. That was a great car, uh, great over bumps, so just like driving a cloud. And uh, I had an old CLK uh, 3.2 petrol and a C Class coupe back from 2004. So one thing with these uh, Mercedes is the position of the uh, center mirror. Most cars, they have it a bit further back, um, so it's not so close to your face. But in here, in the Mercedes, it seems to be they like to put it close to, closer to your face. I suppose it's, it's handy, but it definitely feels a bit weird when you haven't been used to it. Um, something you get used to, but it just feels a little odd at first. The best there, Ben. That's one of my favorite things. Oh right? yeah, definitely mate. They um, definitely gives you a, a nice feeling when you're in the driver's seat seeing that badge. just like a certain prestigiousness about it. As we headed towards the highland, the scenery changed. We saw endless hills covered in bright green grass. The air became fresher. There were big mountains in distance inviting us to explore. Take a little video of this little sheepy here. Engaging in playful interaction with sheep, I pause to appreciate not just the cherished memories from this road trip, but also happiness from the past journeys, all while feeling genuinely content with my reliable Mercedes. It's a reminder that sometimes quality does not have to come with a hefty price tag.
So here we are, part of Scotland. We made it with our Mercedes C-Class and Ben. In uh, Caragons, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> and yeah. the sheep over here. Yeah, we're in this national <laughs> park called Caragons. We still couldn't get the name right. I think that is casually walking by. Well, it's time to say goodbye, actually. He's, uh, he's finishing the video off for us. Guys, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this little vlog with me, Ben, and who was driving. Yeah, see you for next time. Thank you very much for watching, guys. <laughs> Until the next time. Until the next time. <laughs>